I applaud your taste. Just having a bit of fun. Aye, so much fun that those thieves almost got past. My condition Wait, likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Unconscionable of me to remain silent. Singing, we'll know who sent them. Might just be about to remedy that. Might be. We'll pay you have to know who I was. Be you have to know who I really fun. am. <laughs> what I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the Mother of Magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries. The Goddess Mistra. 
She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. Bloody racket! And later, even my lover. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Oi, oh, so yeah. much fun. We enjoyed each other's company. Got past. Body, we got them now, eh? mind, and Once soul. The whelp start singing. But even so, I desired more. Oh, See, I no matter how powerful a wizard we morphies can become, be we never scratch more fun. than the surface of the reef. <laughs> Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She oh, smiled and told me to be contented. They're just having a bit of fun. Inconceivable oh, as it seems so to me now, fun. I shared a bed with a Did goddess. Those thieves almost got past. And I wasn't satisfied. We got them now, eh? So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Do I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? <laughs> Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down Did around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was just a bit of fun. phenomenal. Oh, so much fun. Roiling like the prime chaos of our day's past. creation. We Even the weave right? itself could not withstand. The well start singing. Fractured you know and them. shattered. Oh, all magic was lost oh, to the mortal realms. Until the day. That'll be some real return. fun. <laughs> she restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until. In the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Bloody racket! Oh, come on now! They're just having a bit the of answer fun. was to try. Oh, so much fun. The outcome that those was to fail. Got past. I was certain we got this them, deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and oh, welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domain. I was mistaken. Real fun. <laughs> I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here, place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread moon. Oh, They're just having a bit of fun. Oi, oh, so much fun. That those thieves almost got past. Only a we got them now, eh? Of black the ones that will start singing. We'll know it's it's teeth. It's oh, claws. It's oh, unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part be of you. real fun. <laughs> God, is it ever hungry? What is it? What do you see? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be so much fun. As long as I have all traces of the weed from potent enough sources, remains quiet. The whelp starts singing. Never to fully disturb Oi, might be we'll pay him a visit in return. 
That'll be some real fun. I will erupt. <laughs> I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. You thrice damned rotten bastard! You've been the greatest threat to our lives all this time! I swear to you I wasn't. But I've no choice but to admit I am now. Perhaps it would be best if I leave. Put as much distance between us as I can before the order runs. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Oi, so much fun that those thieves almost got past. We might chance upon a king's no collection way. of magical artifacts Once around the, the corner. Singing, we might cross paths with a miracle around the bend. Might be then again, a visit in return. we might not. That'll be some All real of this. Fun. <laughs> it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand Bloody if you stand Rocky. against me. Oh, I'm humbled if you stand with They're me. Just a bit of fun. Either way, Boy, I will do my best so much not to let you down. Those almost got I stand off. at a precipice. We got them now, eh? If you do not give up hope, so neither shall I. Singing. I'll you fight. I'll Boy, resist as long as I can. Pay him a visit in now. Return. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. <laughs> Let us venture forth. Interesting. Over here. Bloody racket! Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Aye, so much fun that those thieves almost got past. We got them now, eh? And once the whelps start singing, we'll know who sent them. Oi! Ain't no party in here. Shay, Graw. Olak cleared us. Got a visitor for the drow, I do. My arse. What's a true soul want with any mate of yours? Private business, that is. Raiding business. But if anyone wants a piss pot guarded, we'll call. Just get your friend branded proper. Right, Sazza? Got better things to do than... No, you don't. Come on, then. Bloody racket. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Oi, so much fun. That those thieves almost got past. We got them now, eh? And once the whelps start singing, we'll know who sent them. Aye. Might be we'll pay him a visit in return. That'll be some real fun. <laughs> One
Thank you for the absolute mark on your flesh. Yeah. And then I'll hear her voice. You're too feeble. Her voice is a blade. Here, your brain to bits. Certainly you won't be because of your beautiful eyes. What do they need to be looking for? We're all on the same side. Although we're gonna set the true soul on fire, they're drowned. not do anything suspicious while it's watching. Much like your words is meaningless, well. End the matter to save the former. Get your eye off my eye! village to the east. It's abandoned. Looks that way. But Scout said they heard something moving up. Mistress! It's me, your loyal servant, Cesar. I'm back! And I brought a friend. How thoughtful. And where did you find this friend? They was in some rickety druid grove. Mostly full of tieflings. But them intruders you're after were hiding out there. I presume you dealt with my prey. ...and massacred the rest. Ah. Oh. Well, the thing about that is... ...they sort of massacred us. But this mug helped me to escape. I say we stick a few holes in him. Show how grateful we are. You feel a cold hand caress your mind... ...as the drow appraises you. Oh, dear. Your prisoner is one of the Absolute's favorites. Saza. A true soul. No! A compi. They was in the grove, banging around with the tieflings. Undercover, no doubt. Carrying out the Absolute's will. Oh, Saza, you have made a grave error. And it will be your last. My spiders are hungry, little one. But before they feast, tell me where that grove is. And I may yet spare your life. It's past the bridge, to the east. Big old gate covered in ivy. Don't hurt me, mistress, please. I will not hurt you. My spiders will have that pleasure. No, I'm mucked up, I'm sorry. But I didn't know who they was. They didn't tell me nothing. You could have told me who you was. Somebody help! Through sheer luck. That pathetic worm has brought me the information I need. And it seems that the inhabitants of the grove trust you. We can use that against them. You have a part to play in this slaughter. Return to the grove. When my raiding party approaches, throw open the gate and signal me. The fate of the grove's inhabitants hangs in the balance. Killing the drow here would spare them, but it might be better to face her warband at the grove itself, on familiar ground. On the other hand, participating in the slaughter as she asks may be the perfect way to earn her trust and access to the cult's inner circle. You would dare! Guards, to me! Throw this snivel in the pit!
think the dwarf is <laughs> exactly where those adventurers came from. to the spiders yet. Do you want to become spider food? Do you want to become spider food?
something to lie in for. Can't we just move it for it? Drow wants to know exactly where Dope was. What are they doing? Hiding in trees? We'll smoke them out, no problem. The scrying eyes looking at me all strange. We're all on the same side. Dead. Seems these true souls have their limits. Again? Do you wanna become spider first?
Salutations. I'm just saying, those eyes. Again? Do you want to become spider food? What are they delaying for? Can't we just swarm the forest? Drow wants to know exactly where those adventurers came from. What are they doing? Hiding in trees? We'll smoke them out, no problem. Someone is one way to get a guard's blood pressure up. You're destined for the cells, if you're lucky.
protection. Yes, please.
Immediately. Looking ahead. Very well. Sugar and Sukok, or Tasho Kek. Blackest blade, a geich. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Suga na sukok. The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon, and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Guess you're a thick one, so I'll tell it straight. We're gonna make the carcass talk. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Absolute's clutches. Then take it. Absolute knows I am not getting anywhere. You read aloud the words on the scroll. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Raglin frowns at a question he would never have asked. Then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. Damn it! That tells me nothing! You feel Raxlin's suspicions. A true soul should never ask about the master. Raxlin's mind is clouded by doubt, surprised once more by a question he didn't expect. Again, visions flow through you. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high, control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. Give them a hunt. They know something. Suspicion floods Raxlin's mind. Your brain howls as you consider your final question. You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. 
The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. What in the... The corpse collapses, silent once more. No! We're not done! Riddles, all of it! And nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat! No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon! <sighs> the damned trow was right! Can't let her get all that glory! Seems I ain't done with you! Report to the drow, Minthar is the name! She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove! Tell her you'll join her. Praise the Absolute. So, it's a weapon they seek. Could they be referring to the artifact? Arrested for assault. Judging by the look on this guard's face, you're getting off lightly. <laughs> Blood comes easy these days. Another fight. Let's go. Mistra Rill.
On the move. You bow, or you break. No time to waste. Watch your back. Watch your back.
coffee. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others. Then, myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty. A touch of disgust. Within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. Lazelle's fear grips you. Not fear of death, but fear of insignificance. The great warrior Lazelle, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon. Forever unknown to the great Lich Queen Blacketh. I will not let the Geich take me. I will earn Vlacketh's honor. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. came just in time. You are transforming. Yes, you have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a Mind Flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. to Faerun, a fight we are losing, for now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is coming. 
closing in. I will be back. have seen everything. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Breeds madness. Repositioning.
delicious. Go. Ah, excellent choice. It shall be done. Still alive, so that's progress. Can't slow down.
This way. Have a lot on my mind. Um, well, in it. This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. Don't worry. You won't come to harm. I'll protect you. Everything the tadpole has to offer. Everything it was, and everything it was destined to be. Pure potential. Pure power. Good. You have grown your power and improved your chances of survival. Magic touch. What to do? Eager for battle. All right, what now? Indolence breeds madness. Is that blood? No, never mind. Blackets will be done. Someone there. to live in more interesting times. So, you've indulged. Just helped yourself to a little more power, I see. And there isn't a tentacle to be seen. <laughs> Not a bad deal, I'd say. My only complaint is that you didn't want to share. I wouldn't mind indulging myself. Admit, I wasn't keen to be the first to try it, uh, just in case there were any uh, surprise side effects. <laughs> but now that we know it's safe, I'm all for experimenting. I might just hold you to that. shall find me. All is well that ends. Not as bad as it could have.
your desire. Enough waiting. I crave blood. Someone there. Praise his ever bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGloviet. You know McGloviet, a tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as goomless as the rest of them. Cause I'm loyal to McLoviet. Cause I ain't having my head turned by some upstart god. Yeah. My old tribe's fallen for this shite. Traitorous bastards. The great absolute brings us together. Drow and gnolls and goblins all braiding one another's hair. It's a load of sight. Talking to you, ain't I? I just don't believe in all this togetherness and chumminess. Ain't natural. It won't last. They'll be tearing into each other soon enough. Sodom all. I'll wait it out in air, praying to a real god. 